Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Moon. My name is Rabbit Luigi. In the last episode, we fought Hal at their special festival thing. We kicked the ever-loving shit out of him. Even though we've only got one Pokemon, it still blathers the spectacularly amazing Rowlet. We also got the uh, the Rotom Dex in the in the in the bottom screen. I can poke him, and he quite enjoys it. Uh, and I'm just- there's so many tutorials. There are an ungodly amount of tutorials. There was in the first version of this game. We gotta go through them. There's no way around them. You can't skip them. It's kind of sad. The Pokemon Center is practically right next to your house, isn't it, Rabbit? How convenient for me and nobody else. Why is it suddenly dark? Ah. Why is it suddenly dark? Everything has fallen into darkness. I mean, it's not supposed to. I don't think it's supposed to. Very confusing. This wasn't- was that, was that right before? Nebby, don't worry, it's okay. This must, what we call, must, must be what they call a lunar eclipse. It happens when the moon gets covered up. You would know about this beforehand, like the news would tell you. What's the lunar eclipse forecast for today? Oh well, it must be some kind of good, good omen. Yeah! Good omen, yeah. Sounds like a, a meal or something. An omen? You think something good will happen? Usually it's not a good omen, it's a bad omen. Sure, a long, long time ago, Alola was cloaked in darkness, yeah! But people say that's when Alola's people and Pokémon blasted that darkness away. With light! And they also say that that was why people started gathering Z-Crystals, and that custom turned into the Island Challenge! Just kind of... good knock-on effect, I guess. Rabbit! Now that you've got the Z-Power Ring, I hope you'll collect tons of Z-Crystals, woo! That's exactly what a move researcher like me needs to uncover new secrets. Uh, Professor, that's not why you're supposed to be doing it. I'm doing it for my own personal gain. Come on, Rabbit, I'll show you to the Pokemon Center. I have a map now. I could do that myself. Oh, God. Was it scary? All the, all the darkness. I've got to go through this grassy route. I'm not even in it. Oh, God, this is new. This is new. I've... Okay. That was very new. I didn't expect that to happen. But I guess the Rotom Dex now will tell you if you've never seen a Pokemon before. I don't know why that's useful, but it's kind of useful. Honestly, I feel like there's enough features in place. I'm going the wrong way. I am going towards a thing which I don't particularly want to go towards, but I feel like there's enough... Oh, uh... Uh, you're, you're not out of batteries. My, I know my 3DS is low on batteries, but I know, right? How How is life? Yeah, the Rotom likes me. Yeah? Okay, well, wonderful. What I was going to say is that I feel like there's enough features in place that you don't need the Pokédex to remind you Okay, let's just fight a trainer, fuck it. There's enough features in place that you don't need the Pokedex to remind you that you found a new Pokemon. Because, you know, older Pokemon games got by without it saying, Hey, here's a new Pokemon you've never seen before. It's kind of implied by the fact that you've never seen that Pokemon before. And, you know, it kind of, it's a, it's a knock-on effect from that. And also the fact that it, it's making the game slightly slower, and I'm not gonna say that's a bad thing, because I feel like I've already spent, you know, the last couple of episodes saying it might be a, a bad thing for my continued enjoyment of the video game. I'm not disliking the video game yet, but it's how it was in the in the first versions, that they were, they had slow openings, you had to get through that opening before you get to the good stuff, and I do not blame you, audience, if you don't care about these first, like, five or six episodes, because they are slow and lethargic, and I have to make them interesting, and that is not necessarily all that easy, but I'm gonna give it a go. It is- here's a shock, it's actually really cold here today. It's December, my heater doesn't work very well. I mean, it works, but it's not very powerful, but you know, it's efficient on electricity and stuff. Oh god, it's an Inke! I kind of want one of these, because they're awesome! These weren't in the first island before. Like, I don't want- I don't want one for my team, but I love the Pokémon. Like, what's a boy to do? I'll hit it, and if it doesn't die, I forget the stat distribution, but if it doesn't die, and we can catch it, I'd like to catch it just because I like the goddamn Pokémon. You know, there's gonna come a point where- oh god, it's a lot str- <laughs> Okay, um, there's gonna come a point where, like, I finish this let's play and then I play this game casually and you know what I could use an NK. I might just throw a ball at it because we could be here for maybe the rest of time trying to whittle it down and I don't really care that much do I want to give it a name it's not gonna be part of my Pokemon or part of my party rather as a little thing on my computer comes up saying we've we've scanned your computer it is okay there's no viruses that's a good thing to hear don't want to waste all my balls on it but I like the Pokemon it's gonna take us a little while to assemble our team because goddamn it is, uh, it's gonna take a while to get to the place where the fucking first Pokemon is. It's fine, we caught a Pokemon. That's good, you know? 
got to get back into the practice. Been playing other games, we don't have to catch Pokemon so much. And it gives me experience anyway. Blathers is level 10, doing very nicely. There's the very even stat distribution, minus the speed, which isn't very, very good at all. I won't give it a name, because I honestly don't really care at this stage. It's an awesome Pokemon. It's some kind of upside-down Cthulhu monster and a squid, but then it does something else when it evolves and the method of evolving it is awesome. It's like, I like it. It's it's enjoyable. I can get behind it. Not going to give it a name. Also good to have more Pokemon in your party early on, just in case, you know, teams start fighting you. I'll fight you because fuck you, I need the experience and I need to feel like I'm playing some video games right now. Oh god, he's got an NK. This is too perfect. I suppose it's always good to have backups for your team just in case I encounter something in this game which is surprisingly way more difficult than anything else. Here, let me show you the Pokemon Sensei. Follow me. I know, I know what a, I know what a Pokemon, I'm, mmm, it's K. Okay. I could probably go in there myself. Don't tell me what I need to do in here, because I can probably work it out myself. She's even dressed like a nurse! Okay. If you talk to the woman at the counter, she can restore your Pokemon to perfect health. It's fine. Tutorials are fun. It's amazing, isn't it? I can't see- I can't stand seeing Pokemon in pain. There's also this computer here, which is kind of more like a tablet these days. You can also deposit Pokemon in this PC here, or take them out. Who says that Pokemon doesn't evolve with the times, damn it? And at the Pokemart, you can buy all kinds of items that should help during your trials. I'd take a look if I were you. This is the only thing that needs a tutorial because it's fairly new. Over there is the cafe area. I like to relax there sometimes with a frosted glass of Moo Moo Milk. Where do you get it from? Are there, are there mill tanks on this island? I'm not sure. I read somewhere in a travel guide about Alola once. Apparently each Pokemon Center in Alola offers a different selection of drinks. I wonder how they pick what to serve. I imagine what's local, what's nearby. The cafes may also offer more than just drinks. I've heard they also sell special treats and that sometimes the staff have tips for trial goers. That's good. I'd just like to heal them because that NK had peck and did some damage. We should head to the trainer's school next. Oh no! But have your Pokemon taken care of first if you think they need a little aid. Mm-hmm! <clears throat> oh god. Um, I would like to get through the trainer's school in one episode because I feel like I might lose my mind if we have to do it for more than one. Maybe I'll speed through it. There's a bunch of battles. There's a bunch of dumb shit and talking to people and listening to people talk to me. I- it's so... It's so lethargic, it's so counterintuitive to forward momentum and progress. Don't want to criticize it too much. Here we are. You see, the trainer school is this giant school place. It's it's a what what in the world? It's a ruckus. There's a ruckus downtown. It's the most exciting thing that's happened. Don't want to be too critical, but goddamn. Well it looks like we won't be going that way anytime soon, thanks to Tauros here. Uh, but we are we were only only planned to go as far as the trainer school anyway. We'll just leave that for someone else to deal with. Come, follow me. That's the attitude I can get behind. I'll leave someone else to deal with it because I have no ways. Of, I have no ways of dealing dealing with it under my own abilities or something. The trainer school here to teach you how to become a Pokemon trainer. Unless, of course, you already know how to become a Pokemon. Hey there, rabbit. I, I must have passed you too somehow. Yeah. Um, but welcome to the trainer school, the place to learn how to become a Pokemon trainer. I already know. I <laughs> <laughs> Professor K uh, Kukui, is this the child you told me about? Yeah, Rabbit's a real tough one too. Put him through the ring of good teach. Why do I need to do it if I'm a tough one? Four trainers! You've got to beat four trainers here at the school, Rabbit. The experience will surely help you and your Pokemon grow stronger. Yeah, in a very literal term, yeah. But I don't need to learn anything. Actually, speaking of experience, why don't you take this? Of course, you give me the XP share within the, f you know, 11 minutes, like 8 minutes of the 4th episode, because apparently we need it. If you keep the XP share on, yeah, all the Pokemon on your team can get XP points. I call it XP. Someone else might call it EXP. I call it XP from battle. It's also faster that way. The trainers who will take part in this lesson may be inside or outside the school. You may also want to visit our classrooms. You'll learn things there that will help you on your journey, I'd say. Alright, let the lesson begin. I would like to fast forward through this, really. She may not look all that tough, but that teacher trains her kids right. One of her students is even a captain. If you want a bit of advice from me, here's something that might help. Once you've fought a series of Pokemon once, you can easily see what types of moves will work best on it in your next battle. Wandering about in the tall grass to meet lots of different Pokemon help with that. Battle all the time, oh yeah! <laughs> Just let me, let me go, let me go. I know where the teams are, I know where the people are. Oh god, how are we doing with my team? That's fine. Just have to check what level my blathers was because it it didn't it didn't doesn't show on my bottom screen which is a bit sad. So you're the strongest. It doesn't. Oh, that's why I I remember him being important, but 
Is he part of the four? Or if I could fight three and fight him, or four and then fight him? I just don't want to talk to anybody if they're not a battle person. There's someone over here, I feel. What can I remember from playing this game originally? There's like Magnemites in this grass somewhere. Like, I need Magnemites right now, I just need- I just need to feel like I'm making progress, because I'm not necessarily doing that. There has to be a trainer over here. Or maybe on the other side? There's something over here. I don't know. Yeah, hello. You're important, because you get Grimers, poison gas, that's bad. I mean, I've got an NK, which is a psychic dark type, but I don't think it's got any psychic moves. Got a grass flying, not so impressive. Like, I can understand the point of a trainer school for, like, people who are getting- Oh, this is different, isn't it? It's poison dark. It's very different, but I can understand the point of a trainer school and a, a slow tutorial, gradual, uh, I don't know, giving out the information how to play Pokemon slowly so that you can get to grips with it in your own time. And th the problem is, loads of people have played Pokemon before. Like, even if they even if they think they haven't, they probably have at some point in their life. So, what I would have liked, and one of the best games that's ever done this for me, was like The Witcher 3, I think, did it, where there was an option at the start saying, would you like to skip all of the, tu all of the tutorials? And you can fucking say yes, and that's incredible, because, like... I, I need that. I need that in order to feel like I'm making progress in a game where I already understand how everything works. Don't want to complain too much, because I do like Pokemon. I like- I liked Sun and Moon. I presume I'm gonna like Ultra Sun and Moon, so... Just would like some more... Momentum to my journey early on, so that people who... Don't like this at all, find it, uh, you know... They'll be put off really quickly, so... If you are adverse to loads of tutorials, you may find yourself, uh, stop playing the video game, which is kind of bad, yes. Not powder moves, well, yes, powder moves, but not, yeah, poison gas, I know, I saw. So, if I remember correctly, I can do Pokemon Refresh. I forget if this works with poison, but I'd like to check it out. Yes, yeah, so my, oh, my Rowlet looks really, really sad. I know how this works, we'll go through it. Pokebeans, uh, getting dirty, that's fine, I can get by, I can get behind that. I can switch Pokemon. So, have I got like a, an antidote thing I can give it? This looks... Medicine. Have some medicine. No? I have some medicine. Eat the medicine. Oh, we're just gonna, I'm gonna rub it on you. Become unpoisoned. That's what I need the most. Because I don't think I've got any antidote on me. So, this is what I have to do. I'll rub you down. There you go! And Rowlet loves me, which is amazing. And I love you too, my amazing, amazing piece of amazing wood. Oh yeah. So, that's how we do that. And it means that I don't have to rush back to the Pokemon Center. I feel like <clears throat> I know I know that I'm not doing a Nuzlocke, but I feel like being able to have an infinite supply of antidotes, which is what that function's like, would make this a lot easier as a Nuzlocke. Because like one of the only Pokemon I lost in the only Nuzlocke I've done was because of a poison, and I was running back to a Pokemon Center. That's perfect, by the way. Look at that. God damn. But. I, I ran- was running back to a Pokemon Center, and I didn't have enough time, because the poison was ticking down, and that was the sad part. It was a, you know, you were- you didn't get back in time, that's what makes it sad. Immediately replace the potion. Like, that's pretty efficient, I feel. Are you person? You are person, lovely. Have you got a giant lollipop or something? Bons- Bonsly? That's- or Bonsly. Who calls it Bonsly? There's someone out there who calls it Bonsly, either in the anim- that's not a lollipop, it's a- <laughs> it looked like a lollipop! Don't tell me it didn't! <laughs> it's fucking... It looks like a, a badminton racket rather than a tennis racket because the handle is quite thin. Uh, there's no kind of... A tennis racket has like... Strips of metal which go towards the head of the racket or something. It looks like badminton. I'm really good at badminton. I haven't played it in a while but... For my school, I didn't do anything for my school, but playing it at school, I was... It's just reactions and athleticism, and back in the school days, I had good athleticism, I like to think, because... It's all about, you know, rushing to the center of the court, sort of dinking the shuttle, shuttle cock, shuttle cock over the net. Hard word to say, especially because there's so much cock in it, but, um, yeah, I like badminton. Didn't really like tennis as much, because it's... The, ra the racket's heavier, so you have to put more effort into it to... To get more momentum on the on the swing or something. Let's what is what is astonished thirty. I'd like tackle to stay. I'm not going to focus so much. Oh, I'm not going to focus so much on whittling down my opponents. So astonished. I 
yeah, it's fine. I like having lots of attacking moves. It's just how I do Pokemon, really. It looks like a lollipop. Also, badminton rackets kind of are like inverse tennis rackets. They're sort of thin, thinner at the at the sort of bit where it connects to the, the handle and then thicker on the far end or something. I don't know what I'm saying. Badminton's the other way around, as you can kind of see. It's more sort of teardrop shape, but in the favor of whatever makes my point valid or something. Let's go inside! Let's fight some people inside. I don't think we're going to get this done this episode unless I start skipping some battles. You you aren't a person. I'm only fighting people who are people. I can get out here. Why would I want to go out here? This is just going to take me here. That's not very helpful. Don't want to rush through this. I also don't want to be recording for too long. Or rather, I do want to rush through is I don't want to be recording for too long because I've edited the last episode and it took me a long time, took my computer a long time to render the, uh, the video because there's a lot going on. There's technically two screens and stuff and that's complicated to do. So, uh, oh, excuse me, I'd like some efficiency in what we're doing. Let's only fight the people we need to. And I've got a red light on my, uh... My, my 3DS, which might actually curtail any kind of forward momentum we might want to have. Okay. I will go until uh, I feel like we've done some things. Maybe until we fought all four of these trainers. That seems like it might be a fun thing to do. What's a Metapod going to do? Let's just use Harden a bunch? I mean, like other Pokemon... Oh god, my headphones. Come back, headphones. Don't slip off my head. The, uh, like, other useless Pokemon, which is technically what Metapod is like, gained things in later generations. I forget if, um, yeah, because he's got Tackle now. I forget if, uh, Kakuna always had Poison Sting, but it, it learned Poison Sting after a while, and suddenly it can poison you, and that's really bad. It might have actually been what killed one of my Pokemon in my previous Nuzlocke, but it's okay, we're not doing a Nuzlocke now, so we don't have to worry about it. Anyway, lovely work, everybody. If I can find the last trainer and defeat that person, I might call it a day, because I'm running out of battery in my, uh, on my 3DS. Don't want to talk to anybody who isn't relevant to my journey. You have no idea. I don't care. I don't give a f- uh, No one- no one's sitting down. Probably not you. They're not gonna be in the same room. I'd also don't think, uh, it's gonna be- is it gonna be you? Are you a trainer? Are you a trainer? You're not a trainer. I- claws? Give me quick claw. Gives me a quick claw. There you go. Pretty handy. Um, it allows you to move faster or a random chance yeah, there you go. That, that, regardless of speed, pretty handy. I will think about that later on. Anything over here? Are you a trainer? You're not a trainer. Just parking the bus. Parking it right there. I need a trainer. Need a trainer right now. I feel like they have simplified this somewhat because, uh... I guess it has to be in here because I felt like there was... It was a little harder to find all the trainers before. Maybe you're the trainer. Hello? You're not a trainer. You can read. That's good. I don't want to listen to you read, really. Anybody else a trainer? You're not a trainer. I'm looking for a trainer. You a trainer? I have to, I have to sort of stoop down to talk to you. Stoop down to talk to the trainers. Who does pick up the? Who does pick up all the, the stray Pokeballs that are used and, you know, thrown away basically? Can I? I'd like to find a trainer. Did I talk to this person over here? Hello. You a trainer? You're not a trainer. It's really annoying. I'm gonna find a trainer tomorrow to feel like I'm, not going insane. Not going insane. It's fine. Need a charger. I should bring a charger to these recording sessions just in case. Uh, uh, my 3DS runs out of battery, and I lose everything. Don't want to do that, really. Maybe these people over here. Anybody in the corner? No one in the corner. And one of you people, maybe? I'll fight all of you. No? Grass, fire, water? Oh, God. It is, it is rock, paper, scissors. It's genuinely rock, paper, scissors. Uh, I'm gonna guess water. Yeah! What? <laughs> As if water is an answer you can give. That's amazing. Can I fight one of you? Really? I'd like to fight one of you. Okay, got to find a trainer. No trainers around here at the moment. I will, I will try and find a trainer. Oh, you know who it was? It was obviously this guy because of course it was fucking this guy. He was, he was like, he even said something. Looks like you beat everyone else, huh? But don't think you'll beat me the same way. Ekans' ability is gonna get you. I forget what Ekans' ability is. They keep changing them. Well, they don't keep changing them, but they keep having them be relevant to whatever the Pokemon needs to. I forget. It's a, it's a complicated matter, really. Like, it's not gonna be suction cups, it might be like, Intimidate. It could actually be Intimidate. Pretty sure it's Intimidate. I should have enough health. Like, shouldn't be a problem. I've also- I've always got an NK. It is Intimidate. That's fine. It's level 8. Should I just check, because I want to? I'm just gonna answer my own question. It's got Reflect. It's not very handy as a psychic move, but that's fine. Only one more battle, I'm slightly, uh, concerned. I could have done Astonish now that I think about it. 
probably doesn't have poison moves at level 8. I imagine it wouldn't do. But it's got rap. Rap is irritating. Is it Astonish or Fake Out which does the, the flinching? I, th I feel like they both do flinching, but one of them is uh, better at, on the first turn of the battle. Let me find out, because I haven't played Pokemon in a decent amount of time. Uh, I may also make the target flinch. Let's go, baby. Let's see what we can do. Only if we move first, which isn't always a guarantee. It looks terrifying now. I mean, that move is, is was never that terrifying. But uh, they have upped their game slightly. Could be slightly up against this fight. Or slight, slightly up against it in this fight. If you got Bite, Bite's a strong move to have at level 8. Against a level 11 uh, fucking Rowlet. And you got Rap. It's going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Could be down to uh, my Inkay to bring it home. For, bring home the bacon. Someone's going to get a crit. I just know it. Okay. Oh, you're going to get a flinch, which is even worse than a critical. Okay. That's fine. As long as I don't die. I have potions. I have potions for days. I also have orange berries. Should have given Rowlet something. I was going to do it off screen, but I forgot. Like a quick claw or something. Because apparently, Rowlet's quite slow. Isn't usually, but you know, there you go. Didn't even flinch me that time. That's fine. Can you wrap me again? Slowly being withered down by fucking snakes and everything. Why are there snakes in this school? It's crazy. You, you refresh that wrap. See if I care. I'll have to use it. Another potion very soon. It's okay. Can I get a critical? I just want to end the. I just want to end the. <laughs> I want to end things. Uh, I'm gonna go for it. Go for it, cause it's used rap, but rap immediately kind of. There you go. I was gonna. I was thinking about the potion, but we're okay. Everything's okay as long as I end the recording off very soon, cause my 3DS is gonna run out of battery. There's no way of me showing you that, is it? Unless I go to my. Uh, uh, Go to my fucking home screen. Foul play is really strong, isn't it? It is strong, but it's like, yeah, I forget exactly how that's calculated because it's pretty strong as a base power thing, but like, it's it's 95, but it can't do 95 immediately because that would make it amazing, and I'm pretty sure it isn't that amazing. Anyway, not important. We won. That's all that matters now. Think of all the battles we've done. We've done more battles this episode than any other episode. Intimidate is an ability that lowers your opponent's attack stat. If you understand your Pokemon's abilities, you can use the best strategies in battle. But fine, whatever. I admit it when I'm beat. I'll give you a reward even. Take this technical machine. I guess it's kind of a good way of having a tutorial, as long as you don't treat it as a tutorial. As long as you don't listen too much to the tutorial. Okay, first thing to know about TMs, technical machines teach new techniques, so give your Pokemon a new move and a flash. But if your Pokemon can't learn the move in a TM, then too bad, you're up the creek pat you're up the creep power I can't say words. Second thing to know about TMs, you can use a TM as many times as you want, on as many different Pokemon as you want. They don't wear out or get used up. Pretty nice gift from me, huh? Very true. Uh wasn't always the case, of course. Oh, that's the school bell. Why is there a school bell? It's not a conventional school. Attentional students! Would Rabbit please come to the office on two f on the second floor? Rabbit to the second floor office, please. Oh, what have we done? What terrible thing did you do to get called to the office so soon? Well, what do you want to know about it? See, so you, you did do something. I'm sorry. I'm a I'm a miscreant and a tyrant. But this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Pokemon Ultra Moon. In the next episode, we're going to go to the second floor office in the trainer school and kick the living shit out of anyone and everyone we can find up there because that's what we're trying to do. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.